How's it going, Pokemon trainers? Trainer caller here. It's time for another Wi-Fi battle video. Thank you guys for coming to this Wi-Fi battle. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. You can subscribe down below or you can just wait till the outro. Whatever works for you. And um, this is actually my very first Wi-Fi battle in September. So if you recall, the last uh, two uploads I posted on my channel were all in August. So I haven't done much battling. I've been doing battle spot practice, uh, practicing there in the battle spot, if that makes sense. Yes, it does. Okay, we're moving on. Uh, so I've been doing a little bit of battle spot practices, which is good because I don't want to like, you know, stop battling because it's like uh, I'm busy. I don't want to do this. So when I have some free time, I just go on online. I do some three on three matches and that's totally cool. But this is my first five by battle of September. Jose is my opponent. I'm using a interesting team. So from left to right, we have a Haxorus with a Focus Sash has the Dragon Dance set. So Dragon Dance, Outrage, Earthquake, and Night Slash. So you basically go in there, you set up a Dragon Dance, and then you try to sweep. That's pretty good, right? And then we have Volcarona. Volcarona, this is Golden Bird, has Quiver Dance, Fiery Dance, and Bug Buzz, Giga Drain. I use Giga Drain over Psychic because I have a Life Orb, and you take Recoil damage when you use a Life Orb, and then you use Giga, Dra Giga Drain, if I can speak it right, and then you restore your HP. So it kind of, you know, cancels it out, I guess. I don't know. And then we have a Fake Out Last Resort Ambipom with a Silk Scarf. And the basic idea behind that set is you use Fake Out, and then you use Last Resort. has base 140 power, it's going to hit something hard. Of course, ghost-type Pokemon are going to be immune to this set completely, so we need to be cautious about that. And we don't see any ghost-types on my opponent's team, so that's good. Good news bears. Then we have Genesis. Genesis is my um, male meow stick. has Reflect, Light Screen, Shadow Ball, and Psychic. So Basically, it's in there. You set up a, res a reflect or a light screen, depending on which Pokemon is physical or special. Then you use Psychic and Shadow Ball to dish up some damage. The main Pokemon for this battle goes to Mega Blastoise. This is Omega. It has the Mega Launcher ability. It has Aura Sphere, Dark Pulse, Ice Beam, and uh, Water Pulse. So... Three of those moves are going to get boosted power by that ability, Mega Launcher. And then on the back end, we have Rotom Cut, which Rotom Cut is scarfed this battle. I alternate between specs or scarf, depending, depending on what I decide to use. So, that's my team. The main threats on Jose's team are going to be Clefable, because Clefable... It's a fairy type. I don't have anything for it. The main Pokemon that will compete with it is going to be Volcarona. Because Quiver Dance, you boost up your special attack and special defense. You're able to take a Moonblast really well. You can, like, you know, you can pretty much stall out Clefable if you have to. Uh, another Pokemon that is frightening is going to be Mega Pinsir because Mega Pinsir has the ability Aerial 8. And it has the moves like Quick Attack or Return or Thrash. If you're ballsy enough to use that move, it's a 140 base power move also, just like Last Resort. And then uh, it does get Sword Stance, so you try to let that thing set up, you're going to be wrecked. The Dog Fan is annoying, and this is the only uh, the last Pokemon that I need to make a note of here. Dog Fan has access to Knock Off. Have to be very wary of that when I'm using Meow Stick on the field. And it has Earthquake, Stealth Rocks. Stealth Rocks to hamper my team a little bit. And then um, Ice Shard. Has the uh, item Rocky Helmet most of the time, too. So 
we need to be careful on that as well. So I know this was a long analysis, um, but I want to make this as descriptive as possible. So I hope you guys enjoyed this analysis and let's get to the match. Let's get into the match. All right, here we go. Enjoy. All right, you guys, welcome back to the match. This is it. Um, I'm going to start with Hatsuris here because I noticed that he might start out with Dawnfang. If he wants to do that, I can set up a Dragon Dance most likely. Um, but he's going to start with Toxic Cloak. He goes for Fake Out, which is fine by me. Uh, of course, my Focus Sash is broken at this point. Just in case the Toxic Cloak has Ice Punch randomly, it does get access to that move. I'm going to stay and just go straight for the Earthquake. Don't try setting up a Dragon Dance. I did have a, ch a chance to set up a Dragon Dance here. But I make a really risky play going to Genesis on the off chance that the Gonfang was not going to go for Knock Off. Uh, he does go for Stealth Ox, which is, I guess you call that lucky. He 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 could have gone the Knock Off at any of those turns I'm in here, but he just goes for an Earthquake. I'm going to go with a Shadow Ball just to break the sturdy ability that the Dawnfang has access to. And Earthquake is actually doing some major damage even with the Reflect Up. Um, but I am expecting another Earthquake at this point. We're going to go into Blade. Blade is my Rotom cut. Uh, he does go into um, Clefable here, which I expected that, so I go with a Volt Switch instead of, like, you know, Leaf Storm. Although I would have done some major damage to that thing if I went for Leaf Swarm. Uh, but like I said in my analysis, we're going to go into Golden Bird, the Volcarona, and this Volcarona is going to try to set up a Quiver Dance or a Fire Dance or something. Something has to work here. I chose to go with Fire Dance not only to raise my special attack, but I can do some really good damage to the Clefable and force him to take me out which is kind of weird. Um, of course, I did take a lot of damage coming in because of the Stealth Rocks, but that's the whole idea. I really wish I had a Roost on this set. I do have multiple uh, Volcarona trained up, but this one does not have Roost. Unfortunately, since I didn't, you know, take out Clefable, he's going to go with a Moonlight this time, which sucks because... I'm about to go down here with the Life Orb Recoil that might take me out. So my choice move here, or the move of choice here, is to go with Giga Drain to restore some HP. That way I can take another move after this. He goes for another Moonlight. Can you see how annoying Clefable is at this point? And like I told you, I don't have a Steel type or a Poison type. I don't have, like... Because this team that I put together is, like, you know, hyper-offensive, but at the same time, you have, like, you know, Ambipom with Fake Out and Last Resort, and then you have Genesis there, and then, like, you know, it's hyper-offensive, so don't, you know, don't go complain that I'm, like, you know, doing bad because I don't have any Pokemon that take care of a Clefable. So, I guess, you know, I go into Ambipom here. I want to, you know, force this Clefable out. But how do we take him out? I don't know at this point without Volcarona. He makes a great play here. Jose goes in a Dawn fan. Uh, because the Rocky Helmet, I'm going to be taking some damage there. So I'm going to hold on to the last resort. We might be able to use it later. Who knows? But for right now, I'm just going to Mouse Stick here. Genesis. And uh, this is a little unfortunate because Jose pulls a double on me. He goes into Mega Pinster, which that thing has access to Quick Attack. I do not have Prankster on this uh, particular Meowstick set. has King Eye, which is useless. But that's okay. Uh, we get a free switch into Mega here. Of course, that's my Mega Blastoise. I chose to go with Ice Beam because Ice Beam is going to hit uh, Mega Pinster very hard there. He does go into Clefable, which is fine by me. I need all that damage. So Ice Beam is going to do a little bit of damage there. I'm hoping for a freeze, but you don't get that, unfortunately. I really wish you'd get 
higher chance of freezing the opponent. Even in hail, because if you put hail up on the field, you should have a higher chance of freezing the opponent. But we do not see that working here. He holds on another time here. Which, oh man, Cold Fable is so annoying, guys. Uh, but I'm really hoping I can confuse it with like Water Pulse or something. But it's not going to work out here. Uh, Mega Blastoise does have good special defense, which will allow it to take a Moon Blast relatively well there. And another Water Pulse that we... Oh, we are so close, guys. I, I, I have no words when it comes to seeing a Fable on the field. It's hard to take it out. That's why you have to put status on it. That's why you have to, like, use multi-attacking moves. <sighs> Well, we took a lot of damage from dealing with Clefable there. And this is bad because he gets a free switching to Mega Pinsir. He gets to go with a return because he knows that he's faster. Um, but that's okay because, you know, priority versus priority, I will have speed because, well, I'm actually surprised because Mega Pinsir is relatively fast. But Fake Out is working out here. And then uh, he blows me away with close combat. I was actually surprised that he has close combat. You don't see that move on Pinsir very often. So, here at this point, I'm going to reveal the choice scarf to my opponent. This is going to be awesome because we take out Mega Pinsir uh, at the cost of like three Pokemon. That's not really good. He knows I'm scarfed, so he goes into Jolteon. Of course, Jolteon is an electric type and it has access to Volt Absorb, I think. So I'm forced to go into Hasteris here to take two Shadow Balls. I was hoping I would survive a couple of those, but that's not going to happen. So unfortunately, Hasteris is going to go down here. That's going to leave with just Blade at this point. While my opponent has, I think, three Pokemon left. He has his um, Clefable, his... Uh, what was that one Pokemon that I forgot about? Oh, Lipard. You didn't see that in this battle either. So we're able to take out um, Jolteon. And then I believe he still has Dolphin too, right? He does. Yeah, yeah, you see right there. Yeah, Dolphin is left as well. So I'm hoping that I could take uh, Ice Shard, but like it's useless because I'm at 18 HP there. And we're going to lose against Jose. So. All hope was lost at the end of that match. But I hope you guys enjoyed that battle, because, I mean, I had fun, even if, you know, if I lose. This was my first battle since me and Necro back in August, and I will get back to battling some more, so. Hope you guys uh, stay tuned for some more battles in the near future. Make sure, if you haven't already, like this video, subscribe, and, um, I will see you guys in the next Wi-Fi Bell video. All right, have yourselves a great week. Have a great day, wherever you're watching this. And we'll see you next time, guys. All right, enjoy the outro. Here we go. I'm rambling at this point. Have yourselves a great day. See ya.